He said, even the youth will what? They will be weary. They will weary. A time will come for weariness. In that their strength lies a future that comes with weariness. You must understand this. You must understand. That if you are a young man, this strength you have will not be there always. Have you seen an old man trying to do the work of young men? Have you seen how weak they are? How helpless they are? That you are a young lady, huh? this beauty will not remain. Ah, that strength that you have in your, your facial appearance, it will not always remain. A time will come where your face will begin to go dim. It will begin to go dim. You must understand this. You must understand this. So you have to prepare for your destiny physically. And it's a fight. Fight against laziness. It's warfare. Proverbs chapter 6. Let's read from 6. Proverbs chapter 6. Let's read from 6. Alright. He said what? Go to the ant. Thou what? Thou what sluggard means what? Lazy. He said consider her ways and what? And be wise. Listen to this now. He said which having no guide no overseer. They don't have somebody that is controlling them. They don't have any guide or ruler. Listen to it now. He said, provided her meat in what? In the summer. And then what? And gathered her food in what? In the harvest. So when they were, those of you who are farmers, when you are harvesting your corn, your what have you, you busy, look at the ground and you will see the ant. You will see them busy. They are what? They are picking those grains. Picking those grains. Picking those grains. And they will go to a place, prepare a very nice place where that grain, even if it's raining season, it will not, it will not germinate. Prepare it and keep it stuck, their, 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 their bands, in preparation for a time where there will be no grains around. Then they begin to survive by the ones that they have stored. So scripture said, you lazy man. He said what? Go to the ant and learn wisdom. That these people, they don't have rulers. They don't have overseers. They don't have all of these things. But yet, they have a level of wisdom that make them gather red things in the days of abundance so that they can conquer the days of lack. So, you believe that God call you to be a music minister. You believe that God call you to be a businessman. What preparation, what adequate preparation are you making on ground to fulfill your destiny? Tell me. Oh, God wants me to be a businessman. How many books have you read on businesses? Who are your mentors? Who do you sit under? Who do you learn under? Who is guiding you? What materials? Do you know the 20 most richest people who have succeeded in business? Do you know them? Do you know their biography? Do you know anything about them? How do they succeed? How did they? What were the disciplines? Hallelujah. We are young people. We are just moving. Thank God for our parents, they've sent us to school. But wait, do you know what is written concerning you? Let's even talk on that. Before I begin to tell you about preparation, have you found out what is written concerning you? Are you still confused as regarding the matter of destiny? Are you still confused? Do you know who you are? Who are you? Excuse me. Who are you? 
What has he called you? What, what, who are you? Who did he create you to be? Have you found out yourself? Uh, if you don't get this, there will be a problem. There will be a problem. You will walk through the earth and expect that uh, your help is in Nigerian government. So when they don't give you a job, you are offended, right? Meanwhile, God created you and put a special ability inside of you. He said, he said arise, shine for what? Your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. He said what? He said, Gentiles shall come to thy light and then kings to the brightness of your rising. That the thing that he puts in you have the ability to attract Gentiles. Have the ability to attract kings as you fan it, as you prepare it in destiny. Who are you? Don't tell me you are a student. All of us are students here. Hallelujah. Who are you? What is written? Have you found out what is written concerning you? Have you found out your purpose? What is the area that he has called you? Or you are just looking for a job? Ma <laughs> tabarate Let me tell you the truth. Any area you operate that is not destined for your life, there will be a void and an emptiness. There will be an unfulfillment in your spirit. There will be an unfulfillment. Do you know the reason why lecturers enter into the class and they are angry? It's because most of them, they are not called to lecture. Those who are called to lecture, huh? They see it as a privilege to stand before students and teach them. They, because of what? It is what they are called to do. There is a passion along that line that brings a satisfaction. Even if they are not paid, they will do it with joy. So when you are paying them, they are surprised. Are you paying me for what I'm enjoying? It's just like the music ministers now. Their joy is to come and stand before us and minister sounds, marvelous sounds like that. That's what gives them satisfaction. It's because they are called to do that. There is no struggle. There is joy that flows from the inside. So I read a book by my Muro and he told us a story of a young man. A young man that graduated out of the medical school, became a medical doctor. And then he stood before the people. The day the father had to call everybody. The father is a honorable man. He called all the people all around to come and celebrate success. They should come and celebrate with his son that is now a medical doctor. The reason is because the father is also a medical drug doctor. So the guy went to school, became a medical practitioner, all of it. And then an occasion was organized. The man wanted to display his, 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 his pride. He wanted to tell the whole world that he has a son that has taken over him. And then the stage was prepared like this. People gathered to listen to the young man. And then they clap and, whoa, so, so, so person, come and address the crowd. And then the young man climbed up on the stage and then lifted up his eyes and saw the crowd that were gathered. And he burst into tears. He started crying. He cried so bitterly that they had to drag him out of the stage. He could not say anything. He was crying bitterly. They had to drag him off the stage. And the father was angry. After the occasion, everything, he called the boy. He said, you have embarrassed me. You have made my colleague to look down on me. What is wrong with you? Why are you, were you crying that bitterly? What is wrong? What is it that I have not provided for you? I put you in the best university and in the best school you learned under the best teachers. All of these things. And then the young man looked at his father and said, Father, whatever I am now is what you want me to become. I have been living all my life for you. 
all of the things that you want me to become is what you have forcefully made me to become. That when I climb up on that stage, what I saw was people that I need to minister to through music. Because inside of me, there is still this emptiness. There is this emptiness. So the real me was dreaming to become a musician. But you squeezed me and turned me into a doctor. And that emptiness still remained. Till that young man would die, that emptiness will still be there. That's how destiny is. Whatever you are fashioned for, if you are used to operate another device, there will be the loophole. That emptiness will show. It will show. It will show. I'm not teaching about destiny today. I wanted to teach on preparation. But I look at some of our faces and I discover that we are far from what I'm, I, I'm trying to teach. That you are very, very far from it. You must understand this. Listen to me. You must understand this. You must understand this. So let me ask you that question again. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Have you found out who you are? Who told you it's by going to school? I went to school. I studied computer science. <laughs> Hallelujah. But leave school out of this thing. Who are you? Who are you? Because you know what? Your beauty is hidden in your destiny, in your purpose. That's where your beauty is. Huh? If you like, have a long mark on your forehead. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Do you know that if you are fulfilling destiny, naturally you become attractive? If you are fulfilling destiny. Are you see, do you know those people that run? There's one lady that runs. What do they call her? What's her name? so what am I saying in essence that if you stand to function in your purpose you become attractive if you see some kind of things some people do but because they are functioning how do you know um, there's this guy called um, uh, Michael Jordan right huh? he's what are you seeing immediately I say Michael Jordan what did you see it's basketball you saw. You didn't see a preacher holding a mic. <laughs> you saw a basketballer. And he has found out that that is a purpose. It has bring attraction. It has bring attraction. So you, what is your purpose? What's your purpose? Who are you? What will we, after 10 years, can we, if they call your name, what will people see? If I said Benny Hinn now, what are you seeing? Huh? <laughs> are you seeing? If I said, okay, if I said, um, I want to call somebody that is far from all this ministry. And he said, I want somebody that is. Okay. If I said two face now, what, what, what do you see? Huh? Funny as it is, the guy is not uh, this spiritual. Uh, this, thing. but funny as it is, it's flowing in what? In destiny. It's functioning, even though it's functioning wrongly. Hallelujah! And I'm not ashamed to say it. Huh? Every giftings that do not bring glory to the name of the Lord, huh? Is faulty. It's faulty. Hallelujah. Every gifting that doesn't bring glory to the name of the Lord. Every purpose that do not glorify Jesus. It has been perverted. It is used wrongly. Hallelujah. So if your name is mentioned, what do we see? Even you, you are surprised that you are not seeing anything. Huh? Just imagine that you mention your name by yourself. 
What are you seeing? You are surprised that you are not seeing anything. Hallelujah. Are you seeing it? So after 10 years, 